Well, I called it. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and gas. We're glad you're there, sir. You get the right time. We had an all time line. Pumples out, toys, and chimes. Don't mind. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell it all, we are together. Yes. Well, how does it feel to be married to the guy that called a Freddy Funko from the Stranger Things NFT line? Oh, yeah. Oh, it feels pretty good. You go ahead. You can just go ahead and give me a shoulder rub now if you like. No, 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 no. No, pat, no pat on the back's fine. But I, can you give me a little shoulder rub? Because, you know, it's from all that. Yeah. It's from all that. You heavy know. thinking. Mm-hmm. I'm doing a lot of that. And you're doing a lot of heavy stinking. Oh, yes. Good. Okay. Okay. You're not very good at that. I wasn't trying. Cocky mother Hey. So the Stranger Things, Funko NFTs were announced. And can I just express my excitement? I am so excited that they are doing Stranger Things NFTs. This is so fantastic. I love it. Hold on. I'm not done explaining why I'm right. We can get to that, but I just wanted to let them know that I'm really, really excited. Well, I want to be a braggart. Can I just... Anyway, I called the Freddy Funko as Eddie Munson, mother... What's up? You know what would have been better? What? No, no, no. Don't disregard me. I did so big. It's so good. Go ahead. Oh, am I rubbing your shoulders poorly? Oh, I forgot you're bad at that. You know what would have been better than Eddie Munson? Freddy Demogorgon with the frills. Oh my God, that would have been amazing. Somebody said that it should be Freddy Funko dressed up as the character, like he's in a... Like a mascot suit. Like a mascot suit or maybe a onesie or something. I think that would have been awesome too bad they didn't do that but guess what they did this one better baby and it's because your boy called it eddie munson freddie funko as heather likes to call freddie f-r-d-d-i-e f-r-e-d-d what f-r-d f-r-e-d-d f-r f-r-e-d-d-i-e freddie yeah like freddie and eddie and without the y you got the i-e like eddie you get it you get it so this is a great set, but I noticed right off the bat, there's a lot of card packs. There are a ton of card packs, but this is not the biggest drop. Okay, well there's 100,000 card packs. Yes, and it consists of 75,000 standard packs and 25,000 premium packs. Why do you think that is? That's weird. It's unbalanced. Yeah, it is unbalanced, but that's okay. I think that they've done unbalanced drops before, and I feel like this makes it still a very large drop, but not as large as it could be. So in total, there's 750,000 cards across the board in between those standard and premium packs. DC Series 2 drop was huge. 100,000 packs on that one. But there were 50,000 premiums and 50,000 standards. Oh, I see. Yeah, to create a grand total of 1 million cards in total. See, we never talked about the numbers of cards during any of the NFT drop videos. I think we did a couple times. I feel like I've done the math. And did if you? I think so, and if we didn't, you may have pulled it out while editing. Well, you saying one million is incredible. Like yeah, I'm, that's a lot. I'm surprised we never actually pointed that out when the DC Series Two happened. But well, one million—that's that, a lot. Yeah, I believe that drop happened though, or we we talked about that happening while you and I were on vacation. Mm, that's probably remember what we yeah. were in the car. That's right. Yeah, you're right. On our way to Delaware, we're in Delaware. If you get that reference, comment down below and we can be best friends. So this Stranger Things line is a really odd one, but a really cool one. So it's apparently based off of a comic book. Yeah, did you notice that I have a weird lump in my hair? No. Do you see it? Look, look in the camera. Oh, it's a little bit. Right there. Okay. <laughs> it's distracting me. What do I do? Here, what, let's pour water on it. No! So this is a Stranger Things slash Dungeons and Dragons line. Well, Stranger Things is Dungeons and Dragons. I mean... Well, Dungeons and Dragons is in Stranger Things, but this is like a cross of Stranger Things and Dungeons and Dragons because there's a dragon Funko Pop in this lineup. Holy... Yeah, and I had no idea what that meant at all. Like, I saw the dragon, and I was like, wait a minute, was there a dragon in the show, and I just didn't see it? Like, I thought maybe I forgot about a dragon being in the show. Did you have that moment, too? You don't remember that episode? Don't do that to me. 
Anyway, one of our friends reached out to us, David, and let me know that these are all from Dungeons and Dragons. And then our friend Nick reached out to us with another tidbit of information that I thought was really interesting. So the dragon is the grail of this set. And there is 1,106 of this Funko Pop. And there's a reason for that. It harkens back to Stranger Things and them playing Dungeons and Dragons. And apparently they play by rule book 1106. That is so cool because typically for most drops the grail is 999. Yeah so our friend said item number from the publisher for one of the rule books. There's so many rule books maybe that's the way everyone decided what version of the game they were going to play. So they picked one of the various rule books and that must be the game that they're playing in the comics and maybe even the TV show. I don't know because I don't know Dungeons and Dragons that well. If they yelled at that number at some point I wouldn't remember it. So in fact our friend shared with us a couple of the covers of the books. It's a Dark Horse comic and look at these covers aren't they cool? That's awesome and there look there's Will the Wise. Yeah Will the Wise is in it and then there's another comic book cover and it has the dragon in it that's in Funko Pop form. That's awesome. I mean I believe that's the dragon. The dragon is three-headed in the Funko Pop form. On the book, it looks like a one-headed dragon, but I feel like it's the same thing. I just don't know. When I originally saw these Funko Pops, I just thought they were gonna be normal versions of the character from the TV show, but apparently that's not it at all. This grouping of Funko Pops is so cool because they all go together. They're their characters in Dungeons and Dragons. Exactly. So Mike looks like some sort of knight character. Yep. Will the Wise with his staff and magic. Lucas looks like a knight too. Dustin, what's he? Dustin's like a bard, I think. I don't know like Dungeon and Dragon like character types that well, so please correct me in the comment section down below if you do. Go easy on him. But the piece count for the legendaries is 3,000. So that's a high number. Well, yeah, what do you expect with uh, three quarters of a million cards? But the Freddy Funko as Eddie Munson is 3,600. So there's a pretty good amount of this Funko Pop, and I feel like they did all of this very much on purpose. One, Stranger Things is very popular, but two, they knew people were going to eat this up. Oh, yeah. So the information about the Stranger Things NFTs was dropped on Drop today on their Discord, as usual, and they explained everything, and they give you all the details that you need to know. So the when is July 13th, 2023 at 2 p.m. Eastern time for us. Standard packs contain five cards, which are $9.99. Premium packs have 15 cards, which is $29.99. And there's a $60 limit on how much you can spend all at one time. 75,000 standards, 25,000 premiums. And they mentioned that Apple Pay, Google Pay, and credit cards are all accepted. Nice. So that's all the information that you need to know about this set. I think this is a great set. Oftentimes I complain that the Funko Pops are not special enough to be NFT Funko Pops. I always hearken back to the time that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Funko Pops came out and they were the standard molds that we had already gotten but just really cool and weird colors. With this set I like it so much is because it's so far off the beaten path. It's one of those things where not all Stranger Things fans have read these comics or maybe don't even know they exist. Yeah this is honestly shocking to me though because this almost feels very niche. I feel like even though Dungeons and Dragons is played within Stranger Things, it's not necessarily a highlight per se. Like the Demogorgon and all right, that right, stuff, right, like yeah. that's a whole thing in Stranger Things. But outside of that, you see them playing occasionally, but it's not like the sh whole show is focused on that. Like you're not seeing them in these outfits. I'm just so shocked that they're putting such a niche portion of Stranger Things up with so many card packs. Doesn't that feel weird to you? No, and that's because it has the Stranger Things brand, so they know people are gonna go after them either way. I also think it opens the doors to those comic books. It's gonna get people interested in knowing what those comic books are. Then, on top of that, you have a group of characters that go together very well, and I think that that's very special. The niche or obscure is what I really like about this particular set. Me too, but it makes me wonder, like, is every Everybody else gonna love it as much as me and you I do. I really think they will. Really? I do, because I know there's a lot of Stranger Things fans out there, and there's also Dungeons and Dragons fan. And don't forget, they had a Dungeons and Dragons set that came out via the NFTs. So this is yet another like 
Dungeons and Dragons set. You got a good point. Right? I mean, it's kind of weird when you think about it, but it's true. And I really like that. I think that's really cool. And I hope that Funko and Drop focus on doing the obscure and niche because I think that sort of fits in the NFT limited sort of layout. I agree. I love when they do more obscure stuff. Like, for example, with that Pennywise set, the reason I liked it so much is it wasn't just Pennywise. Yeah. You had the Lumberjack and the Leper, which, I mean, both only got a minute or two of screen time, Probably right? not even that, yeah. Yeah, so I dig that. And in the WB Horror set, we got, like, Crooked Man. Yeah, like, exactly. That, that part was this big. Yeah, and I joked a lot about that It series that's coming out, mm -hmm. and it was mostly just to play around with you, but I really thought that series was fantastic. I think it's really cool to include those obscure characters. We're seeing that again here, so maybe that's the trajectory moving forward. I really hope so. We really need more of that in the Funko NFTs, so it's exciting for all of us collectors. Yeah, it's not the same old thing that you get all the time. Like Chris mentioned, with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I mean, how many Ninja Turtles have we gotten by now? But the fact that they were so different made it cool. I can't imagine them putting out the same Stranger Things molds. Exactly, yeah. And it being exciting for people. You know what I mean? Like, when they're I saw, not turtles. When I saw the Will the Wise figure, I got really bummed out because that was the first picture somebody shared with me. Mm -hmm. And then as I started going down the line and noticing that it's like characters that we know but dressed up as D&D characters, I was like, this is interesting. And then when my friends started sharing all this extra data about Dungeons and Dragons and comic books and Stranger Things. And that really got me excited. And I'm hoping that's what this video does for you while you're watching it. Maybe we're telling you things that you didn't know. Maybe you're a huge D&D fan or maybe you're a huge Stranger Things fan and you know all about this. But for somebody who doesn't know about this, but for somebody who doesn't know about this like me, I am super, super excited about this now. This is so exciting. I love seeing different variations of these characters. Me too, and this is far different than anything we've gotten, except obviously for Will the Wise, because we did get him before. And the cherry on top of all this is the Freddy Funko is Eddie. I did say that this was going to come out. I think I might have said either for NFTs or Fun Days, so I was going to be right either way. But frankly, I think everybody called this. Pretty much anybody who collects Funko knows that Freddy Funko dresses up as other characters. We all knew that he would dress up as Eddie Munson, being one of the most popular characters pretty much in the last 10 years. So I am no pro, but I'm excited to see that they're actually making them. Me too. So we want to know what you think about this set. Let us know all that and more in the comment section down below. Are you excited about Freddy Funko as Eddie Munson? And what do you think about this Dungeons and Dragons Stranger Things mashup? I think it's dope. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we like to shout out to James Thomas, Nick Mastromico, Nick, Ryan Drotar, Matthew R., Eric Hall, Nathan Bakken, Clarissa V., Carlos Campbell, and PopCop765. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock! Thank you for staying until the end of the video. And don't forget to check out 7 pop.com They have Pop Shield armors over there, and they're awesome. Make sure you head over there and buy some now and protect them grails. They have a magnetic top. They're really thick and strong. If one of those drops off your shelf, you know your pop's going to be protected. Check them out at 7 pop.com And don't forget about their sister company, mysterygrail.com. This week, they have some amazing grails in those boxes. Their mega grails are crazy. Crazy. They have a pink flocked Scooby-Doo, they have a blue box Han Solo, and they have the SDCC Sloth from the Goonies, as well as all sorts of other pops that you can get. They go on sale every single Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern, so go and check them out at mysterygrail.com and make sure that you read all of the details. Guys, remember as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.